Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Janine and I'm a London-based software engineer and it is the end of the workday on a Friday. And what makes it even better is the fact that um, I'm actually heading out to Japan for the next week. So I'm not gonna even be working next week. So today's the last Friday before I head off on PTO. So I had to finish up a lot of stuff, hand over my work and my plan for today, this evening, is to head over to the gym, get a good push workout in, and then I'm gonna come home, heat up some dinner, and then pack. So come with me um, whilst I prepare myself to fly off to Japan with my family, and that's basically it. <laughs> it's a bit different to my usual weekly vlogs, just because this week has been very, very hectic and busy, um, but it's been an incredible week. So yeah, I hope you're having a good week or a good day so far. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna stop talking and get myself to the gym now. Otherwise, I'm not gonna ever go. <laughs> See you later. All right, guys. So my gym fit for this evening, I've got my, um, what's this color called? It's like a cocky, like forest green. I would say more like army green and Lululemon leggings. And then I have my Gymshark sports bra. I love the sports bra. And then I have um, the cropped Lululemon aligned jacket on in black. And then to keep myself warm because it is incredibly cold outside, I have got my um, puffer, also from Lululemon. Can you tell I love this brand? And it's gonna keep me nice and toasty. Um, and then as usual, I have my Nike socks, and I'm just gonna put on my Nike V2Ks on. Actually, I'll do it now. These are my Nike V2Ks. I love this color. It's like a brown kind of color with like beige highlights or accents. Um, so yeah, these are my gym trainers. I'm just gonna put them on. Um, so for today, uh, we're doing upper body push session, as I mentioned. I use the Evolve You app, which is by Chrissy Chella and her team. I love the Evolve You app. It's so easy to follow. And I just love how I don't have to think about what I'm gonna do. I just literally go to the gym, follow along. Makes my life so much easier. Um, but yeah, I don't, to be honest, I don't love going to the gym in the evenings. I'm definitely more of like a morning gym girly, but um, desperate times call for desperate measures. I'm also gonna bring my water bottle gotta stay hydrated for sure um and i also brought a clip so i can clip my hair up but because it's like upper body day and i have to like lean back on the benches i actually don't like to put my hair up in a pony because if it's in a pony my head is like instead of being flat it's like tilted so so stupid but um yeah that's why i don't like to put my hair up when i do upper body days anyways you don't really care to be honest do you and um, i don't know why i'm telling you that but anyways Right, time to zip up and time to go to the gym. It's gonna be warm. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it's Friday. How nice, how nice. Buckle up. And then I got my little bag for the gym. And this is my gym fit. Let's go, guys. Okay guys, I just came back from the gym. I had such a good session, but now I'm starving. So I'm gonna heat up my summer eats and then, I don't know if I should pack or if I should shower first. Maybe shower first, then pack. Mm, we'll see, we'll see. I got turkey pasta, turkey, turkey pasta. I'm so hungry, guys. I was hungry before I went to the gym and I'm so happy to be eating right now. This week has been interesting, you know, probably the most unexpected week of my life in a good way. Mm -hmm. Um but I'm glad it's Friday 
because I'm so excited to see my fam bam on Sunday. Um, tonight, I'm just gonna, as I said, finish packing. Well, I haven't even started yet. Start packing for Japan. And then tomorrow morning, I got work for the health tech startup that I've been helping out with. And then, oh, first gym, then health tech startup. Then I'm gonna hang out with my friend Nadine and Noshin. Nadine is now a digital nomad, so she's in town for the weekend. So we're gonna grab some lunch together at Watch House in Spitalfields. And then after that, I'm gonna come home, get ready. And another one of my friends, me and my sister, both know her and um, she's throwing a housewarming with her partner so we're gonna head over there as well and like have dinner play games and stuff like that but um i'm excited and then sunday morning we leave to japan um so yeah how exciting i don't remember the last time i had like a family holiday like the last time i saw my whole family was in february this year for chinese new year but I think the last time we had like a proper family holiday, it was probably in 2019 before COVID and we went to Iceland. How crazy is that? Yeah, but anyways, right. I'm gonna enjoy my dinner and I'll bring you along with me when I start packing. I'm also gonna have one of these Lindahl's Varg, <laughs> is that how you pronounce it? Raspberry flavor. And there's 15 grams of protein in each pot. I've had these before and they're quite a nice snack. And I feel like after I have one, I feel full for quite a while. So that's good. I found these little um, snacky bars or snacky bits as well in my cupboard. So I'm going to bring these actually um, on the flight or on my trip on the way to Japan. So that I still have some healthy snacks just because I feel like at the airport... It's really hard to find like healthy-ish snacks that aren't like ridiculously expensive. So I'm going to pack these as well. But for now, I'm going to enjoy this little yogurt pot. Okay, so I am taking my big suitcase and I'm also going to put um, a small carry-on suitcase inside the big suitcase. And so that I'll have space for the things that I buy when I'm in Japan. So my game plan is, I'm going to go into my bedroom now and pick out all the outfits that I want to bring, put them into packing cubes, and then like put the packing cubes into the small suitcase first, and then put the small suitcase in here, and then with the space around the side, I might put like my shoes and also toiletries, I think. So yeah, that's the game plan. I'll put you on the corner here next to these boxes. Um... So you can watch me pack. Okay, I'm gonna put you down now. Ooh. Okay, let's go. This one has all my jumpers in it. In here. And then this side is all my bottoms. So my trousers, skirts, and my tops that I'm gonna bring. I need to go to Uniqlo tomorrow to get some heat tech stuff. So it's gonna be quite cold in Japan. But once I have bought them, I'm also gonna add them in here. And then I think good morning guys i'm just having my breakfast now i made three fried eggs i'm literally in the middle of eating i totally forgot to vlog but i um, also have some scrambled scrambled stir fried ham i just wanted it to be hot to be honest and then a bagel thin i ran out of fruits but then because i'm leaving tomorrow i didn't want to go get like a whole punnet of berries so this will have to do. I'm just gonna eat more fruit and veggies when I go see my friends later. Alrighty, I'm gonna enjoy now. And a coffee, always. <laughs> I'm 
I'm watching Victoria on YouTube at the moment whilst I'm doing my makeup, but I'm trying out the new Hourglass, I think it's called Vanish Concealer. Um, I bought it from Space NK this past week, so I'm giving it a try. And so far it's been so good, very hydrating, um, easy to blend. And it only takes the tiniest little dot to look good. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup. I'm gonna do my makeup. Oh my gosh, I keep dropping this. Butterfingers, butterfingers. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do my makeup and then head to the dentist to get my second round of attachments in, which I'm not very excited about, but it's necessary. Um, and then I'm gonna probably have to touch up my makeup because they, they stretch your mouth like super wide whenever they put in the attachments. Sounds weird, I know. Um, anyways, after that I'm gonna go meet up with my friends for lunch in Spitalfields area. And also, I told you I'm going to my friend's place tonight. It's actually her 30th birthday. Like, I don't know what I was talking about. Obviously, she also just moved into a new place, but it's also her 30th, so I need to pick up a present for her. I'm thinking of heading into anthropology in Spitalfields and getting them, because she's moved in with her partner. So I think I'm going to get them a cute little, like, um, couple's mug set with their initials on it or their the first letter of their names on it, which is, like, I think such a sweet little... Um, Thing to have when you have your own flat because also who doesn't use a mug you know what I mean like I use my mugs all the time so I feel like it would be a good gift but anyways right I'm just gonna finish my makeup and then I will catch you guys whenever I am on my way to the dentist what time is it now it's 1207 and I have to have to leave here at 1215 so let's see if I actually can do that because I'm notoriously known for being late all the time. And it's not something that I like about myself, but I don't know. I'm just too optimistic with time, I think. I just try and fit too many things in and then I end up being late to everything, which is not great. Maybe something for me to work on in 2025. Anyways, okay, I'm talking too much now. See you guys later. lunch in the Dean and Noshin and I forgot to vlog but I started eating but I got sweet corn fritters what else is in it um, this is what it looks like <laughs> before, before I destroyed it okay bye guys i just got home um i had lunch uh with nashin and my friend nadine who's in town and you probably would have seen we went to watch house in spitalfields and um the food was delicious i always love a good watch house my favorite one is probably the one in spitalfields um but af no sorry not spitalfields Somerset House. Um, but after the lunch, I popped into anthropology just to look for something um, for uh, my friend Karen's um, party tonight, but I couldn't find anything. So I was walking around Spitalfields area and I popped into Earl of Eden, which is this like homeware store. And I got her a really lovely candle. Um, I actually went to the King's Cross store two days ago and I smelled this candle um, and then I walked by it today and apparently the store just opened so it's very new and the scent is called Onsen which basically means um, it's the name for the hot springs I believe in Japan and the scent is just so so gorgeous like it's like so comforting and cozy but also very like cleansing and 
yeah it just feels like you're in a hot spring like a very calming hot spring so i thought it'd be a really nice gift it has three wicks in it which i think is such a nice thing i don't know about candles like i love a good three wick candle so i got her that and she is um she's just moved in with her partner steven or ship so i just got her that i'm gonna put it in here and in addition to that, I also walked past this plant store, which I thought was so adorable. And I thought, you know what? When someone moves into a new place, it's always nice to get them some plants, you know? So I decided to get her also a snake plant. And this snake plant is so gorgeous. I gotta admit, I'm not the biggest plant person in the sense that I am not great at plants. So I gotta, I can only deal with like plants that are easy to maintain. So I asked the lady who was working there, um, because I don't know how Karen is with plants, but I think she must be pretty good. Um, but I just asked, hi, do you have any plants that are like easy to take care of? Doesn't require too much effort. Um, and she recommended a snake plant. So I got her this. I couldn't find a good plant pot there. So I'm just going to have to give it to them like this, which isn't ideal, but I'm sure she can find a plant pot elsewhere. So... I'm just going to pop that as well in the paper bag with the candle. And then, um, that is everything that I got today. I wanted to pop into Uniqlo. Well, I did pop into Uniqlo. And I was looking for some, like, heat tech tops that I could wear for Japan just to keep me warm. But nothing was really that flattering. Like, I tried on a couple different tops, but they were all just very, like, not flattering. And... I don't know, they made my shoulders and my arms look huge. So I've decided instead of wearing heat tech, I'm just gonna wear my usual t-shirts from Uniqlo and then just top it with a, a jumper and that should be warm enough um, with a coat on top for Japan. Um, so that's my update. Now I'm going to just quickly get changed into something a lot more casual and comfortable. I'm thinking maybe a hoodie Um something like that because we're playing twister tonight apparently so I kind of want something that uh is comfy <laughs> um I have my lululemon leggings on so this should be good for bottoms but in terms of like top um yeah I think that's it all right bye <laughs> <laughs> we just came back from the party you guys I'm vlogging <laughs> I thought you I'm time. vlogging and now we're gonna pack finish packing for Japan tomorrow what time do I have to leave? Uh, let's leave at 7. Okay.